Hello again, I'm Chris of FilmsByChris.com, that's Chris the K, there should be a link in the description. And today I'm just going to do a small demonstration using the ESP8266 module. This once again is a microcontroller with Wi-Fi built in. Think of it as a small Arduino with, res or with Raspberry Pi, with Wi-Fi built in. Um, now, what we're going to do here today is very simple. We're going to hook this to a simple uh, relay. Basically, a relay switch is, is a switch, like a light switch. Uh, it can control higher voltages with low voltage. So basically, uh, these modules can only handle a couple of volts. So you can turn on LEDs and stuff, but if you want to turn on something like lights or something more powerful than that, what you're going to do is you're going to hook your chip to the low voltage input on a relay and the relay is a switch that turns the high voltage on and off. So the high voltage never comes in contact with your microcontroller. Now again, the ESP8266 module here, um, the one I got is what's called the development board and I just use it for my projects. It's a few dollars more but it's got the built-in USB port here for powering it and also programming it and it also has the pins built in so it can sit right in a breadboard very easily. Now you notice I have two different relays here. Now both these relays can control up to 250 volts AC or 30 volts DC. Now the difference between the two is I ordered these ones because looking at the schematics, the pin layout for uh, our module here, it has two pins that are 3.3 are volts and this relay needs five volts to turn it on and off. So I ordered a bunch of these, they're only like two bucks a pop, I ordered I think uh, five of them for ten dollars and then after receiving them I realized <laughs> Looking at the pinout again for the uh, our microcontroller here, there is a five volt pin uh, down here, or actually, I'm sorry, right here. So I didn't need to order these ones, but I have five of them now. Uh, so I put one on the board here, and I programmed it to act as a web server. And when you go to a certain link on that web server, it will turn on this module for half a second and then turn it off. So. If you want to, again, control a garage door, you can do that. Now, a relay technically would be overkill for a garage door. You could use a MOSFET controller, but again, uh, you know, I want to keep things simple. So even though this is overkill because it can control high voltage and the garage door only needs a small voltage, um, this is an all-in-one unit. I don't have to solder anything. I don't have to put components together. It's just flip it on, flip it off. So that's what I have chosen to use. So again, this is going to be a very simple demonstration. I'm going to use a USB uh, power cord. It's a cell phone charger. Actually, it's my tablet's charger. I'm going to plug it in. In a couple of seconds, this little device is going to connect to my local network, at which point I can pull out my phone and redirect or point to the device. And I have uh, two different pages on this web server. And uh, one is just a button that says, click me. When you click it, it brings you to the other one which actually turns on the relay for half a second then turns it off gives you a message output of activating and then it redirects you back to the button it's a kind of ugly interface but it's very very simple everything that's being done is being done on this chip we're not getting any outside resources which you could if you wanted to have your web server because you're very limited on the memory on this you can have it pull images from other places and have a very nice layout or even on the device it's very simple to you know make a nice looking web page with CSS and nice looking buttons and you can use some Ajax to send the commands without actually redirecting the page um, but very bare minimum it's literally two lines of, of HTML or JavaScript code to generate this and it's basically a slight modification of a very simple LED blink application, only instead of turning an LED on and off, we're turning the relay on and off, which again can control higher voltages. So I'm going to plug this into the wall, and again, the only wire connected to this is power. I'm powering it off the wall, but you can power it with, you know, if you have an external uh, battery pack for your cell phone, which I have a couple of, you could power this for a while using one of those, so you can have it in your pocket if need be. So let's go ahead and look at that. I'll pull out my phone, hook this up, go have a look at it and you'll see the relay you should be able to hear it clicking hopefully in the camera but you'll see a little red light turn on and off on it and again it's just going to be a half a second on half a second off kind of like a momentary button press so here we go i'm going to plug the power in 
And again, this is not running a full like Linux operating system or something else, so it's pretty much instantly on. The only delay is a few seconds it takes to connect to the wireless network. But I'm sure at this point, it's probably already connected. So let me pull out my phone here and link to the page. So there you go. It's, uh, again, not the prettiest. The button's not very big, but there's a button that says click me. And when I click it, it turned the relay on and off and then redirected back to the button that says click me. So again, I'll click that and you'll be able to hopefully here, but you also see a red light click on and off on the relay. That's it. I can click again. So again, that's on and off like a momentary button. I can have it go on and stay on. I can have a button for on. I can have a button for off. Technically, I can set up uh, sensors, hook sensors to our chip here. Uh, so you can have one button that kind of toggles and it'll detect whether something's on and off. But I'm using this again, kind of like a switch that, you know, momentary switch, like pressing a button for, again, your garage door, which is going to be one of my projects here. And so we're just going to click. And that's it. And again, this whole project right here is about $10 and that's buying the more expensive uh, ESP8266 module. Again, you can get them for like $3 if you don't get the USB and flasher chip all built in. Um, and you can actually get this one cheaper if you don't mind waiting for it to be shipped from China. So that's just a quick demonstration. And again, in future videos, we're going to be using this a lot and I'll show you how to program it uh, using the Arduino interface and a program called ESP Tool. And it's very, very simple. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, or this, this video. It's not really a tutorial. So again, this is just a quick look at it. We're going to be using this device a lot in the future. Basically, this exact setup can control so many things with slight software tweaks. Um, so again, this is my new channel. Be sure to check out my old channel. There should be links in the description to everything. Uh, but be sure to visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There you can search through videos from both channels. There's also an RSS feed that you can add to your RSS reader and get updates uh, anytime I post a video to either channel. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, be sure to visit my Patreon page. It's patreon.com forward slash millx1000. There you can become a supporter and get videos early from both channels. So I'm combining that into one account. So if you support one channel, you get videos from both. Uh, and I just want to thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment. This is a new channel. All that stuff always helps, but especially with a new channel. I hope you enjoyed this. And we're going to get in some more fun stuff. I know this is a very basic example, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what we're going to be doing. So, I hope that you have a great day. Be sure to uh, check out uh, the links in the um, playlist, or links, <laughs> the links in the description for a playlist. Check out my channel and other videos. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Mm -hmm.